Good afternoon. Good day to all of our participants. Thank you all for joining us today. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our webinar today on patents and standards, key components to develop renewable energy technologies. For those of you who are not familiar with the agency, IRENA is an intergovernmental organization mandated by countries around the world to promote the widespread and sustainable use of all forms of renewable energy. Currently, IRENA has 150 members and 26 member states have started the process of becoming members. Before we begin, please note that IRENA does not endorse or recommend specific products or services shared within its webinar series. You have two options for listening in today. You can connect your, your computer by selecting mic and speakers or connect your phone by selecting the telephone option in the right-hand panel. If you face any technical difficulties during our webinar today, please contact the GoToWebinar help desk at the number that is provided on your screen. We encourage you all to participate in this session by asking questions. To do so, you can simply select the questions panel in the right-hand bar and enter your question with a note of who you would like to answer the question. We'll be collecting questions throughout the webinar and answering them during the question and answer segment at the end. If you'd like to watch this webinar again or share it with a friend, we'll have a full recording available on the IRENA YouTube channel that is on your screen right now. For today, we are pleased to be joined by panelist Thomas Robertson, who is a pro the project coordinator at the International Electrotechnical Commission. He's online today and will be available to answer your questions on the platform. Our first presentation for today will come from my colleague Francisco Bochel, analyst here at IRENA, and he'll be introducing us to the role that patents and standards play in renewable energy. We'll also hear from my colleague Alessandra Salgado, who is a JPA at IRENA, and she'll be walking you through um, the Inspire platform and giving you a more practical and live demonstration of how you can utilize the platform. Lastly, my name is Fungai Sandamu Guldeman. I'll be your moderator for our session today, and I'll introduce you to the Inspire platform and its features. In 2015, IRENA launched the International Standards and Patents in Renewable Energy Platform, also known as INSPIRE. As you can see, in today's agenda, we'll be introducing you to the role of patents and standards in renewables, the concept of the INSPIRE platform, its tools, as well as a live demonstration of the platform. At the end, we'll have a question and answer session to end the webinar and a short evaluation from you. We really encourage your participation as well as your feedback on how we can improve the flat platform and evolve its features to better suit your needs. We hope that you all enjoy the webinar. And with that, I'd like to hand the floor over to our first panelist, Francisco Bochel. Thank you, Fungai. Let me start by giving some context on the use of patents and standards. Innovation has been and will continue to be crucial to materialize the transformation of the energy sector towards a sustainable one. After the Paris Agreement, the world has agreed to decarbonize the global economy by the second half of this century, which basically means that the energy sector has to go to zero carbon emissions by 2050. For this transition to happen, we need to continue improving available technologies as solar and wind for the power sector, but also to come with the needed solutions for sectors as transport and industry, where the share of renewables is still rather small. Market instruments such as premium tariffs, quota obligations have been effective in the power sector, but this will not suffice to achieve the transformation. Those need to be complemented by other instruments to push a stronger technology development. In IRENA, we have done analysis on what are the set of policy instruments that can be used to foster innovation in renewables across the whole technology life cycle. These instruments include, among others, R&D investments, technology transfer mechanisms, intellectual property rights, incubators, cooperative networks, etc. All these instruments are relevant, 
and we also identified what type of information and data can be obtained and used from these instruments. We found that the information contained in patents and standards also have multiple practical applications. These applications support stakeholders who are interested in understanding better the development of renewable energy technologies as well as the trends in deployment. So let me start with patent documents. Patents are one of the mechanisms along with, uh, for example, copyrights and trademarks aiming at protecting intellectual property. A patent is an exclusive right granted to a patent holder to commercially exploit an invention for a limited period of time. Patents have to include technical information about the inventions, which is made publicly available in the published patent document. This aspect makes patents a useful source of information and also one of the indicators, but certainly not the only one, which provide evidence on the innovation activity in a defined technology field. As an example on how this type of information can be used, let's look at energy storage technologies. In a report that we have recently published on innovation for renewable mini-grids, we looked at the innovation activities for the different components of a mini-grid. Among many data sources, we also use patent information for our analysis. In the top chart, you can see, for instance, the number of patents filed for the different types of storage technologies. Here we observe that electrochemical technologies, as batteries, is where most R&D efforts have been invested in the last five years, and with a clear increasing trend. Chemical storage technologies, as hydrogen fuel cells, as well as other technologies, including electrical, mechanical, and thermal storage, have a flat behavior and lag significantly behind electrochemical technologies. At the bottom, we can also observe that companies such as LG, Samsung, Toyota, and Panasonic continue to lead in terms of patents filed for electrochemical storage, so identifying some of the most active actors in this technology domain. If interest, you can see more on how we have performed this innovation analysis for technologies including mini-grids, but also advanced liquid biofuels, ocean energy, and offshore wind in our Innovation Outlook report series. You can also read more on our analysis on policies to foster innovation in our report on renewable energy technology innovation policy. All these reports are available for free in our publications website. Now let's look at the standards. In order to provide you with some context, the investments in renewable energy technologies continue to grow year by year. In 2015, more than 300 billion US dollars were invested in renewable power technologies mainly wind and PV. And since 2013, more investment goes into renewable power than to fossil power technologies. However, coming back to our goal to decarbonize the energy sector by 2050, we still need to do much better than that. Our analysis indicates that we need to have an average annual investment close to 800 billion US dollars. So almost three times what we are observing at the moment. And this has to be sustained from now till 2030 in order to put us back on track to achieve the climate objectives. One of the questions that investors and other stakeholders have relates on how we can ensure that these investments, these technologies, will perform and last as expected. So investors will get the return on investments, consumers will receive the quality of service expected, and policymakers will meet the national objectives on sustainable development. A set of powerful tools to mitigate technical risk and ensure that energy systems deliver the expected service are standards and quality assurance, including testing, certification, accreditation, etc. International standards developed by consensus of international experts document good practices based on on-the-ground experience, good practices that cover all aspects of a technology, from design to installation to operations, and practices that can be replicated by anyone. 
International standards can facilitate technology trade, enable cost reduction via economy of scale, increasing performance through benchmarking with competitors, and can also be used in national technical regulations to have certainty that technology suppliers and installers follow appropriate practices for technologies which are, in many cases, incentivized by taxpayers' money. IRENA has developed detailed analysis on how to use international standards and develop quality assurance frameworks, including testing, certification, accreditation for technologies such as wind, solar thermal, grid connection codes, and currently we are finalizing our analysis for PV technology. In view of these practical uses of patents and standards to support the deployment of renewables, the agency has developed an interactive web tool, INSPIRE, to support the renewable energy community to use these instruments in benefits of their renewable energy initiatives. It is also important to mention that this tool has not been developed by ARENA in isolation, but has been done with the invaluable support from our partners including the International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, who develops international standards for renewable power technologies, as well as the European Patent Office, EPO, who owns one of the most comprehensive global databases on renewable energy patents. With this, I would like to hand it over to my colleagues, who will now explain the features of INSPIRE in detail, and then give you a demonstration on how you can use this tool. Just before that, also to bring uh, draw your attention to a brief in-focus document we have already published and will be made available through this webinar and after the webinar to all participants. Thank you very much. Thanks, Francisco. So uh, with that background on what exactly uh, the role that patents and standards can play in renewable um, energy, I would like to go into a little bit about what is the Inspire platform itself. So IRENA's Inspire platform is the first and most complete solution of its kind um, that actually allows users to find the most relevant and uh, international standards and patents for renewable energy at no cost. In particular, the platform provides a one entry point for information on renewable energy technology patents and standards for the general public who are interested in renewables but are not necessarily experts in standards or patents. The platform relates um, the information collected to pr practical applications and further it, uh, it works to inform users on what are and how to use patents and standards for the deployment of renewable energy technologies. Uh, the platform also goes a step further by facilitating a dialogue between the different stakeholders on these topics. In front of you are uh, screenshots of the standards section of the Inspire platform. The standard database provides a comprehensive one-stop shop of information on renewable energy standards that have been consolidated from standard sources. So what the Inspire platform does is bring together these international standards that document good practices that have been collected from many years of experience to give users access to information that's not always easily available and thus foster awareness of standards and how to employ them. The platform contains a large library of information that explains in a user-friendly manner what standards are, how they can be used, and why they are important. So this library of information also extends to information from key partner organizations. Users can search through a database that includes nearly 400 internationally used standards and find all renewable energy standards that have been consolidated into a complete solution. The database results include general information on the standard, the normative reference, that is, what other standards are needed, and also a direct link to purchase the standard is available if needed. As you can see, with a simple click, live reports can be generated on aspects of each standard, including installation, testing and manufacturing information, as well as from which standardization body. The database includes a large number of international renewable energy standards that cover all aspects of the system, particularly for hydropower, wind, and PV technologies, which are the most advanced stage of international standards development. Other technologies, uh, such as concentrated solar power and marine energy, which are starting the development of international standards, are also included in the database. 
As will be demonstrated uh, by my colleague Alessandra in the next section, the platform also facilitates the networking of users and relevant standardization bodies by providing direct contact information to countries represented in international working groups, developing international standards for renewable energy and groups developing specific renewable energy standards, national representatives for ISO and IEC. Moving on to the patent section of the Inspire platform, uh, the patents database offers introductory information to patents and access to key information on the latest renewable energy technology patents to foster innovation and renewable energy technology deployment. As already mentioned by Francisco, patents are a key instrument in intellectual property protection. However, many stakeholders for renewable energy do not fully understand how this instrument actually works. Additionally, patents can provide a wealth of information that can be used to monitor technology development for renewable energies, as well as identifying active players in the field of renewable energy innovation. The Inspire platform helps to diminish these barriers by providing access to a large database of growing international renewable energy patent literature, including IRENA sources, as well as external links to relevant documents and sites from our partners as well. So this information can help users to identify innovative technology solutions that are suited to their technology needs and help to identify potential partners for R&D and technology deployment through international cooperation. The Inspire platform also provides a comprehensive state-of-the-art search tool for renewable energy patent data and uh, provides a single point of inquiry for information of renewable energy patents at no cost. So this state-of-the-art search tool provides users with a detailed search report, as you can see on your screen, on renewable energy patents, including the patent application history, insight into the countries that have filed the most patents, for example, and uh, leading patent applicants and statistical diagrams. The search engine is powerful and utilizes the world's most comprehensive global patents database for renewable energy technology, that is um, the EPO's PATSTAT for climate change mitigation technology, YO2 classification, which contains nearly 2 million patent documents, inclusive of uh, renewable energy technologies and enabling technologies. So by utilizing this tool, our users can perform metadata analysis of technology trends comparing development within one renewable energy technology sector or different renewable energy technologies. And as you'll see later in this webinar, the Inspire platform also promotes awareness among stakeholders on the need and use of patents and enables exchange in this regard by assisting users to identify the key countries and actors in developing technologies for specific applications. Via interactive maps, such as the one on your screen, users can easily identify the patent filing offices for each country and access useful links from our partners WIPO and EPO. And with that, I would like to hand over to my colleague Alessandra, who will go into detail on how you can use the Inspire platform. Thank you very much, Fungai. Good afternoon to all the participants that join us today for this webinar. In this segment of the webinar, I will show you how to use Inspire for your work, your data analysis, projects, and other initiatives in which you're involved in the renewable energy field. So in this part, I will cover two examples. In the first example, I will show you how you can find the applicable standards for a specific technology. So in here, I will demonstrate it with solar energy. And then we will go through a second brief example on how to use Inspire to find out more about which are the trending technologies, which are the emerging technologies and their trends. And also, I will relate this example to ocean energy. So then, let's move on to our first example. Let's just start, this is Inspire, let's just start with the standards then. In here, you can see the landing page of Inspire. If you go to the top menu on gray, let's clear, we can click on the standards and then learn about the standards. In this part, you will find all information regarding the standards, why they're important, for what are the uses, also international making bodies. So let's read more about um, standards making bodies. So we click on there and go into the click on the blue box. We can open a new tab. And as you can see, 
In here you can find information regarding the different standard making bodies. To find out more, we can also go to the bottom and click on Read More. In here, it will display one of IRENA's publications into the topic of international standardization. All these publications can be downloaded for free. Going back to INSPIRE, then, we can also look for standards. Click on Standards, and then let's go to Search for Renewable Energy Standards. There's two ways to look for standards. It could be for a keyword. Let's type maybe a storage. So, so we go for storage. In here, you can see all the different standards that are related to storage linked to specific renewable energy technologies. The other way around to find for standards is if we look specifically for a energy technology. So let's look in this case for solar energy. As you can see, Inspire tells there's around any 89% of the standards that belongs to PV and the remaining to solar thermal. Then also, we will search more about PV. In INSPIRE, then, if you scroll down, you will see the different standards for solar PV in which aspects are. So we see there's testing, performance, installation. And as well, if you keep scrolling down, there's the different making bodies that created these standards. So going into detail for one standard, we can look for standards in solar PV regarding, let's say, performance. So we click down in performance. And on the right, you will see how it displays five different standards related to solar PV for performance. So we can take the first one as an example, which is for model performance of solar photovoltaics. For every standard, there will be an abstract. And this abstract, we can understand if the norm of applies for the application or not. Also, there's the normative references. This is a new and unique part where you will not find information e easily online. In here, Irina gathered information of all the other norms referred and required to this standard. Also, we can look in INSPIRE, as you can see, in the making body, the standards making body source. So you can scroll down and find out about more information about this standard. Going back to INSPIRE as well, you can scroll down and see all the different standards that are related, in this case, for solar photovoltaics. So then I'll just go and return. OK, going back to standards as well. In, there's a uh, different site for standard publications. In here, you can find the different publications from IRENA's partners and IRENA. And as well, in the part of external links, you will find the different partners and also a link that will take you directly as we click on it. You can see how it brings us to the IEC, one of our partners for INSPIRE. Finally, as well, we can look in INSPIRE who are developing standards. So we click in the part of networking in here. And as we are looking for solar PV, then we can click on solar PV. We go down, OK. In there then a map will show up about the technical committee for solar photovoltaic. It will tell the participating countries of this committee, the observing and the secretariat. In this case, the secretariat is in the United States of America. And also, we can see the different information and the contact information about the secretariat. So actually, then, we can contact in case of any information needed. As well, we'll see an example in Ocean Energy. So then in this part, you will see the Secretariat for Wave and Tidal. Also, which are the participating countries in light blue and blue, and the Secretariat in this case that is based in the UK. As well, we can scroll down and see the contact information. Then we can just return back, going up, and then into the landing page again. So briefly, this is a demonstration of how you can find standards in INSPIRE. So now, I will just give you a brief example of how you can use this information that we just find in, in INSPIRE and how you can actually apply it. So I just prepared briefly uh, some slides to show you how you can use this information. 
uh, let's say uh, for this an example. So I am working for the private sector, specifically for a pharmaceutical company that is based in Argentina. So we just define in the yearly sustainability plan to start using solar panels as a source of electricity for the buildings. And then something common happened here, that is, once we were looking for the funding, the bank asked us if the equipment was already tested and certified. So this is one of the many situations where we can use Inspire. Let me show you. In here, I prepared some slides and then of how you can work around all this information in Inspire and see which are the applicable standards for solar PV. So with Inspire, we can find out from the very beginning of our idea or proposal up to the implementation and operation of the renewable energy technology, which are the applicable standards. On the left side graph, you will see the different aspects of the standards in solar PV energy, where there are multiple standards in testing, performance, installation, among others. On the graph in the middle, you can easily identify which are the making bodies of these standards. So with this graph, now I know where to acquire the different standards. On the right side, there's a list as well from the normative section in Inspire. What this means? It means that I, if I'm interested in one standard, then we know which are all the other norms that are referenced in this standard. So in a way, Inspire can facilitate us a simple manner to get a catalog of all the applicable standards for one technology. Then moving on to the next slide, from Inspire also as well, we can see where is the technical committee in the part of the networking section in the website. In this case for solar PV technologies, I can see that Argentina is not part of the technical committee. As we were saying, this case example was from a company in Argentina. And even though Argentina has a high potential of solar radiation, it would be good to start engaging in this technical comedy. So with the information we find in Inspire, now it's possible to contact the Secretariat and start understanding what is needed to get involved in the comedy and start sharing best practices also in standards. So then, with this, I will close the first example of how you can find more about the standards in Inspire. And I will move on. I have a second example also to share with you all. And this one will be related to how to find information about patents in Inspire. So let's go again to the website of Inspire. As you can see again, this is the landing page, so we go this time into patents. We click in learn about patents, then as the same as the standards, on the right side we'll find different information about the standards. What are they about patents, sorry. What are they for, their trends, their landscapes. Let's see more about what will be the patent application. So if we go into read more, we open a new tab. And then in this part, you can see all the steps that are suggested by ARENA for a patent granting procedure. So we can also click on read more. And here it will display one of publications of ARENA in the topic of intellectual property rights. You can download by, for free this publication. Then if we go back to Inspire, we click OK, then going again, we can now look for patents. Let's go into patents and then on the second one, we click on technology patent reports. In this part, we can look for the patents related to one technology. So we click on browse and we will do an example for ocean energy. So let's click on ocean energy. After, we'll click on the technology subgroup. So in this part, we click again on ocean energy. For other ones, you can see like solar, it will appear solar PV and thermal. 
in these cases, well, we can look for the different technologies. So I can click and let's look for wave uh, energy. So we go down, we click on it, and then it will, and as well, we can, there's a feature about the time frame where we can see what will be the different patterns across time, as you can see on the left-hand graph. So we can see patterns in the last five years that were filed and also in the last 10 years. So if we click for five years, you can see all the patents that were filed and as well the different countries that filed these patents. As well, if you scroll down, there's the top applicants that filed these patents. So you will see the organizations and individuals that submitted all these technology patents regarding the ocean energy. So this is an easy way of how you can find about patents information in Inspire. Going back into the patents menu, as well we have from Marine and other partners patents publications. So in here, you can scroll down and see all the different publications related to this topic, or also you can type a keyword, let's say policy. So, and then there is one publication there you can download from one of our partners. As well, the same as the standards, there's different external links of all the partners and also you can click by just visiting into their website. It will take you directly to the link. So you can see this is the website of the EPO, one of our partners. Also, we can see under the networking tab, which are the different patent offices. So this is a really important part in Inspire. We click on it and then a map will show up. In this world map, you can select any country. So then we will pick in this case India. So just clicking on India, then we'll click on there, okay, and then it will have to show up the different patent offices and as well copyright offices from the country in this case. We can just click once again, okay, and then, as you can see, on the left side part, it's the copyright office and also the office that filed the patents. We can also click on it, and then it will take us directly to the website of this institution. As you can see, in this case, it's the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So then, going back to the landing page, this is just as a brief explanation of how you can find patents in Inspire. And then, with this information that we just searched about ocean energy, I would like to move to a second example of how you can use and present information regarding patents in, in your meetings or in your work. So, in this case, uh, I would just want to share like a case example. So, let's say I'm working for the Office of Energy Planning in a country. As we just already saw India in the map, I would say that I'm working for India. And on Friday, I have a meeting with the director of the office, and we're planning to discuss about investing in innovative technologies, such as ocean energy. So I'm planning to come to this meeting and bring a small presentation about ocean energy and what are the innovations in this. So Inspire, in this case, can be very useful to understand what are the trends of a technology and how it has been evolving across time. So on the slide you can see that we can do a trend analysis in ocean energy. So we can compare how this technology has been developed over the last years. As you saw in demonstration, uh, we already know how we can extract the information about patents in Inspire. So on the graph from the left side, you see ocean energy patents that were filed over all time. And then we can compare it to the graph on the right, that is ocean energy patents that were filed during the last years. So we can see on the left side graph how USA, China, and Japan seems to be the front runners across time. But then during the last five years, on the right hand graph, we can see how China have taken over this lead. And then during the five last years, they have filled 
around, well, over 600 patents. As well, in Inspire, we can screen based on the technology component. So in the demonstration, we saw how to find out more about patents filed in wave energy. In here, we can see on the graph on the left that there's a stronger investment efforts for research and development in wave energy, where we can actually have more than 800 patents filed in the recent years. In by the other side, in the graph from the right, you can see ocean thermal technologies, OTEC technology also called. So as we can see, this technology is still in an infancy stage compared to wave energy where it's possible to notice that in the last five years, around 100 patents were filed for this technology from the top applicants. Moving on as well, during this meeting I'll have in the Office of Energy Planning, I can share the list of organizations or individuals that are, fi uh, that are filing the patents. And then with this, it can contribute to find the right partnerships to start research and development programs in a country. With INSPIRE we can find precisely these partners and also we can contact them to know what are the best practices in ocean energy technologies that they're currently performing. Finally, I can close the presentation I'll be having in, in the energy office, uh, in the planning energy office as well by talking of for related to the next steps of India and how they can get involved in developing new technologies and applications for ocean energy. I can show already who are the focal points in the country, uh, who are the, mm, I'm sorry, who are the focal points as well, yeah, in the different offices of, of, for patents. I can recommend which are possible and potential partnerships and as well, at the same time, I can start getting familiar with the patent filing process by just contacting the, contacting the office in the country. As I already know, in this case, will be, you can see in the right, the industrial property office. With this, I would like to close the second example of how in just one of the ways that you could use the data and inspire for your work. I hope this demonstration and learning how to use INSPIRE has been useful for all the participants in this webinar. As we said at the beginning the, of the webinar, and you know how we named this webinar, was the standards and patents are key components to develop renewable energy technologies. So standards play a key role in assuring quality and a proper performance of technologies. And also patent trends can be analyzed to identify technology progress and innovation also helping to forecast different innovations. With INSPIRE, you can help to polish your information as well. You can contribute to your data analysis regarding innovative technology trends. You can make easier the work to identify which are the required standards or norms for the application you're working in renewable energy. So just to finalize, I would like to encourage all the participants to start using INSPIRE. In IRENA, we would like to hear your feedback about INSPIRE, also to share us by mail your questions or even tell us for what purposes or applications you are using INSPIRE. So I would like to thank you for all your attention and then I'll just uh, give the floor to Fungai. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ale. So uh, to our participants, once again, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you also to my uh, co-panelists, Ale and Francisco, for your excellent presentations. I can see from the questions coming in that uh, you've definitely piqued the interest of our listeners. Uh, before we move on to the question and answer segment, I'd like just to note that if you would like to contact uh, the, the Inspire team, please get in touch with us at the email address on your screen or head directly to the Inspire platform at www.irena.org slash inspire. We look forward to hearing from you. So with that, let's open the floor to our participants' questions. Question for Alessandra. How does the patents database 
sorry, does the patents database also include patents for enabling technology such as storage? Uh, yes, well, thank you, Funga. As you saw in the demonstration I did for the patents part in Inspire, you can also go into the technology group and as well there you can find different enabling technologies. So it will also show up which are the different technologies in this case and the different enabling technologies in this case uh, that have patents. So you can do this, you can actually do it by your own Inspire and, and find more information about it. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Thomas, are you online with us? The next question is for you. Yes, I'm, I'm here. Thanks. Um, so we have a question here. The participation of uh, developing countries to international technical committees of standards is difficult due to the cost of the cost associated. Are there mechanisms to support developing countries' participation in international standards processes? Um, yes, the, the IEC has what we call the Affiliate Country Program, and that provides a way for developing countries to access international standards free of charge with a view to national adoption. Um, it also gives access for developing countries to provide comments on working documents. That is to say, while the, t the standards are still in development, um, and so they can influence the outcome of the standards. Um, and this is done through national electrotechnical committees, which are based in uh, developing countries. There are 86 of them at the moment. Does that answer your question? Perfect. Thank you so much, Thomas. Um, next question for Francisco. So, in addition to this very useful tool for knowledge sharing, how does IRENA support countries to implement standards and quality control? Mm. Yeah, uh, thank you, Fungai. Yeah, as mentioned before, uh, these instruments of standards and quality assurance are quite important for IRENA as they have a direct impact on the deployment and actually the sustainable deployment of renewable energy. So we definitely do uh, a lot of work in this area. On the one hand, in addition to this uh, interactive tool we have called Inspire, we also do um, dedicated analysis for some specific technologies. So we have, as I mentioned in the presentation, some uh, detailed analysis on how to implement this quality assurance framework for uh, wind technologies, uh, for solar uh, thermal technologies, uh, for grid integration technologies. And now we are finalizing for photovoltaic. So we have this analytical part where you can find uh, how, depending on the context of your country, you can develop all this infrastructure called testing, certification, standardization, etc. On top of that, we also go with our partner organizations like uh, IEC, the German Metrology Institute, uh, PTV, ISO, and other partners to countries to actually have trainings and workshops on how they can develop these um, quality assurance mechanisms for their technology. We have had a number of them, for example, in solar thermal in Latin America with 14 countries getting together industry, um, also getting together the, the standardization bodies, the regulators, etc. The same in China for offshore wind technologies. We have had in Africa for mini grids and so on and so forth. So definitely this is something we are uh, very interested in and we put a lot of efforts and resources in this area to support our member countries to implement uh, this course. So, Francisco, while we're speaking about I, the kind of support that IRENA can provide, uh, can you tell us if IRENA can help startups in connecting with investors, companies, and players? Yeah, good question. Actually, we have quite a number of uh, networking mechanisms uh, to support this uh, interaction. We have uh, dedicated conferences to specific topics, such as, for example, energy access, um, power sector transformation, etc., where we always invite these innovators and they have the opportunity to have a com direct conversation with uh, financiers, with other entrepreneurs, with regulators, and etc., in order to try to bring their innovations into the market. Yeah? Uh, we also have dedicated technical workshops we, where we have platforms for this uh, exchange. And at the moment, we are also starting to consider uh, some online tools where we may have also this kind of network, uh, networking in a virtual 
platform. So definitely something that we are also very much interested in support is uh, entrepreneurism and in, in innovation actors and we will let's say expand also our activities in this area. Uh, going back to our partner from the IEC, Thomas, um, another question for you here. Are there standards to address energy access? Um, in terms of rural electrification, there's a number of technical specifications. It's the IEC 62257 series, um, which provides a number of recommendations and technical specifications for uh, rural electrification. Um, that's uh, the, the extent of the, the IEC portfolio at this time. Okay, great. Thank you, Thomas. Um, You're welcome. So, Ale, you spoke a little bit about uh, how, what, how we can use the platform. And we have a question here in how can the, the platform or using the platform help students in particular? Sure. Um, so, in the, part, in the patent section as well, you saw once you go for patents and also display any technology, you can see which are the top applicants that I've that uh, filed this patent so far. So I think in terms for students it could be a really valuable list. They can go in and you can see in some cases they're even universities or organizations. So it's already like targeted points where they should go and apply for internships or either graduation projects or just let's say a summer internship. They know that right now these, these organizations are the front runners for, for innovative technologies. So mm -hmm. This could be one one way for students as well. Okay, and uh, so I guess for both of you, given the need for you know timely and updated data, how often is the Inspire platform actually updated? So we, well, the Inspire platform, we're updating it every six months. So every six months, we we upload the new databases that are available for the audience in terms of patents and and standards. Mm. Uh, so, Francisco, does the patent database cover countries like Brazil and others in Latin America? Mm -hmm. uh, that's a really good question. Actually, at the moment, uh, what we cover in Inspire is mainly international standards or standards which are um, applied internationally quite broadly. And uh, why is that? Basically, because one of the key aspects of standardization is precisely to harmonize technical requirements to the possible extent. Yeah? So one of the approaches is to try to first go and see what is available internationally, try to adopt that in the respective countries, and if there is a need for national adjustments and so on, this can be done at regional or national level, as well as being discussed in the international uh, platforms. So at the moment, we mainly cover international standards. Now, as this is just the first version of Inspire, and we will continue to improve it and expand it, we are considering whether our users see value, let's say, in us, including also, for example, regional standards in Inspire. And if that is the case, maybe we can start considering uh, this option. Okay. Good, good. So, Thomas, we have a listener here who says that uh, they're a small manufacturer of solar water collectors, and they want to know, can they join technical committees, technical committee meetings of standards? Uh, in their respective country, where they're based, they could contact the IEC National Committee and get in touch with them, who would be able to direct them to participating within the relevant technical committee. Mm -hmm. So they'd have to get in touch with the, their national committee in their country. In their country. That's okay. correct. Excellent. Thank you. That's welcome. And uh, Francisco, how specific is the information regarding patent applications? And um, what information is available regarding the applications. Mm -hmm. Thanks, for guy. Yeah, so the aim of the Inspire platform uh, for both the standards and for the patent component is uh, to be a tool which is for, let's say, a stakeholder's interest in renewable energies, but not necessarily experts on patents and standards. So it's the first entry point for that. That's why we have focus, for example, in the case of patents, all the information is related to high-level information that can be used to assess technology trends in, in terms of development, as well as networking with actors which are active in um, patenting, patenting uh, innovations in a specific technology. However, we don't have uh, in Inspire, for example, all the patent documents 
that can be, let's say, people can go and read a specific patent. So our aim is more like we use it here in Arena, is to use patent information to compare, for example, with R&D investments, with other indicators, and with that make a more high-level analysis on where the technologies are moving forward, what can we expect in the next five, ten years. However, if people are interested in going and reading the patent documents and get more about specific inventions, that is also possible. We have actually the, the links in, in Inspire to different databases where people can do it. Just to mention two of them, there is the EPO uh, PatStat uh, database where they can go and look into these specific uh, documents. And from WIPO, you can also uh, look, for example, into the SpaceNet uh, database where you can find the actual uh, documents uh, of the patents and read, let's say, all the uh, technical uh, details. Thanks, Francisco. So I think we can take one more question, looking at the time we have. Uh, how does Inspire help me when working on developing a new technology? How does Inspire help me when working on developing a new technology? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, for example, there are different aspects. I think uh, Alessandra also covered uh, a little bit on that on her presentation or, or example. We can, through this uh, patent information, we can understand better, first of all, where technologies are going. So, where is more activity in a specific uh, technology. The other important aspect is who are the actual uh, inventors or organizations who are more active in uh, inventing or patenting inventions in this field. And this is very important because, is, for example, if I want to develop uh, R&D program in my country or for my institution, and I need to find the right partners, I would say that the first uh, good indication on where to find these right partners are the ones who are more active in patent in filing uh, patents for this specific technology. Now also can help to identify where the investments are going, let's say, in terms of R&D, and therefore where we can find uh, more available funds uh, to uh, perform R&D in this area. So there are many, many ways, let's say, on how uh, patent data can be used uh, to steer and uh, a little bit uh, guide the efforts on, on R&D, and uh, this is a matter of, let's say, getting more used to it and how to use it, practice, and, and, and get more innovative ideas. Maybe people can also look into different reports, including IRENA reports, where we use patent information and patent landscapes in order to uh, assess these innovation trends for uh, renewable energy technologies. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, so this one is open to the floor. Uh, we have a question, what is the technical committee for standards? I would suggest that maybe Thomas can address this question. Sure, uh, a technical committee, um, as is understood by the IEC, is one that will group experts that will be uh, come from the national committees, um, from the international uh, experts, and they will work on developing um, a new standard and they will also work on maintaining a standard and updating it as uh, technology develops. You'll also have uh, in each country, depending on the country's interest in the technology, they will form what we can call a mirror committee, which is a, a national technical committee, and they'll look at the um, aspects of that standard as they relate to their national interests and how it affects their country. So okay. in essence, the technical committee is, is a panel of experts that develops a standard. Perfect. Thank you so much, Thomas. Unfortunately, that, that is all the time that we have available for questions. And uh, actually, the last question was whether this webinar would be available for uh, viewing after. And yes, it is available. It will be on our IRENA YouTube page. And um, if you have a question which was not answered during the session, you can actually connect with us via email. Uh, on inspire at irena.org. And uh, before we conclude today, I would like to thank um, Thomas Robertson again from the International Electrotechnical Commission for joining us for this webinar. Thank you, Alessandra Francisco, and uh, thank you to our participants for joining us today. Uh, before we conclude, we would also like you to take a very short survey about today's webinar in order to help us improve our webinar series. 
you'll see a series of three questions pop up on your screen and all you simply need to do is select your choice. Thank you very much for your feedback and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.